I am so tired and we are late to the doctor's appointment. <laughs> Yeah, mad late to this doctor's appointment right now. I just called him and told him I was gonna be late, which is annoying, but you know, I didn't fall asleep until 4.30. So that's kind of like expected at that point. Welcome back to another day. Um, let me wake up a little bit before I tap back in. So that wasn't too bad. Now we gotta go help my dad at work. We're paving the same driveway we paved yesterday. We're just doing like the top layer to it. Back at it again with the voiceover because no one wants to hear it like construction equipment run. There's Neil looking sturdy on the roller. We have one single load of blacktop left. Thank God, dude. I'm dying. I, I don't know what's going on. I've been coughing up a storm. I think I got Rona. And here is the finished product. Look at that driveway, man. That boy, hot, baby. Come on, now. Huh? We done. Yo, I just got out the shower. My hands are absolutely full, as you can see. But look at this shit. Why is she up there? Pe Pepper, what are you doing? So, you know how yesterday I just fell asleep after it was supposed to be like a 30 minute nap? Well, I did it two days in a row and now Ethan and I are at McDonald's ready to go to the gym. Always. <clears throat> it's very contradicting. Hey, thank you. Got Hi. my Sammy, baby. Watch the curb. Hey, 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 uh, we ain't yeah, gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit a curb in the, in the drive-thru. I'm still tired, man, I just woke up. But this paving is beating the shit out of me, man. I get home and then I just dead. Gone. Now, of course, though, like we're already running late to the gym and we get hit with this bullshit. It's, uh, that's traffic. What is it? It's traffic. You got a big brain. Big, big brain. Ooh, you're a smart guy. Smart gay. Way to analyze smart and read the gay. situation. All the red lights. Yeah, That's all the red lights. Science. Math. There be so many comments. There's so many critics. They don't know what that boy did. But they still say that he did it. Oh, yeah, he said that he did it. I am not with it. Yeah, he said that he did it. Some of my niggas be popping them burgers and some of my family are dead. Nah. <laughs> Some of my niggas abusing prescriptions, so I gotta focus the mission. They making up shit that I did in their head, they pass it along like I did it. I don't even know why niggas don't care, cause it don't make no difference. Mm -mm. Way too many lies, way too many lies. I got a problem with trust, I done gave up too many tries. I fuck this shit out of shorty, she tell me she love me, but I'm not. You just doing with the 40s? That's what I deal with, dude. I turned it as soon as you dropped it. What's I turned the camera as soon as that thing almost broke your big toe. Hey, hey, let me get another one. Come on, you got this. Big flip. Big flip. Hey. Big flip. All right. Check this. <laughs> How are you doing that, though? Oh shit. Oh, that's. Hey. Ooh. It is not a good idea. Holy shit. What up, gang? I'm tired as shit, man. Look, these last two days with paving has beat me down, bro. Which makes sense, bro. I'm just not used to it like I used to be used to it. I said used to way too many times in that sentence. Look at this. Oh, ADD. There's a spider web in my fan. That's weird. My fan is on like nine times out of ten. How is it even like there? Let me just... Like, I, guess, I guess that's a cobweb, not a spider web. 
yeah, whatever. Well, look, I do want to talk about things. So if you watched the end of yesterday's vlog, you guys know that we had that very intellectual conversation until 2 in the morning on a Monday. Yeah, real smart. But what we did talk about was, like, minimalism. And as you guys know, I don't want any of my things. Like, look at this. Look. I and, and mind you, I have thrown away hundreds of articles of clothing, probably 20 plus pairs of shoes within like the last six months alone. But look at this. So I have all this. That is full. These are all shoes. These are all shoes. Those are all shoes. That dresser is completely full. This is just laundry that I haven't put away. What else? Oh, yeah, look at this. My laundry basket is full as well, and that is full. I have a lot of shit, man. And that's not even including, like, all everything that's in there. I have a lot of shit, and I just, like, don't want it. And I've been throwing stuff away so often lately, just trying to clear out. And Ethan Coy, he put me onto this uh, minimalist ideology, I guess I could say. And I never really heard or really looked into it i understand like there's like the buddhist people that live with all their possessions in a three by two box or whatever i've heard about that stuff before but i've always wanted things my whole life i've wanted to buy things i wouldn't have things and i've always done that made that money i went and i bought the thing i wanted you know i'm looking at a great example right now the versace shoes completely unnecessary i got a killer deal on them but completely unnecessary i had a pair of balenciaga sandals 500 dollars pair of sandals i just gave away for 20 bucks the other day but the moral of the story is like the materialistic objects just don't do it for me anymore they don't make me happy and like it used to be like i always just like getting shit i always like buying new things and having new toys and stuff like that but what i've come to realize is once i have the things that i wanted so bad i like don't want them anymore like, as soon as I get them, I'm like, why'd I get this? I don't need this. Like, it's pointless to have. Yeah, I just need, like, my bare essentials, you know? I bought a wallet. Well, no, I didn't buy the wallet. I got it for Christmas, no lie. But a wallet that I really liked and really wanted forever. But then I found this wallet right here. Oh, the one on the back of my phone. And now I don't carry a wallet. I just carry my phone, and that's all I need. And I love that because it's just so simple. And, and that's where I find pleasure in it, I feel like, is, is the simplicity aspect and just being able to simplify my life and make things easier for me. I wake up, and I have a bunch of the same things, or I only have 10 T-shirts to choose from and four pairs of pants. So it just makes my life easier, you know what I mean? It's going to be a really hard thing to do, but I think I'm going to remove like 90% of my possessions from my life. I am semi-attached to some of these things. There's going to be some things I won't be able to get rid of. Um, maybe a lot of things I won't be able to get rid of. But I just think that this might bring me a little bit more joy, to be honest. I think getting rid of all the bullshit and just ha I have too much shit. Like, I didn't even mention the fact that the underneath my bed is completely covered in clothes. Like, I have multiple containers of clothes underneath the bed, and I have a whole rack of clothes in the basement. I didn't even mention that. And, like, it, it just none of this shit makes me happy. If anything, it makes me, like, angry or almost sad. Like, I look at all these things, and I'm like, I just don't want them. And I don't need it, you know? It's just unnecessary for me to have all this clutter and all these objects. I think... I would be able to live an easier, happier life if I simplified it by getting rid of things. So that's one of my goals this week um, is to clean out and clear out and just get rid of all this shit that I don't want anymore. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. It's probably going to be one of the harder things I've ever had to do. I'm going to try to throw away as much as I can. And when I don't throw away, I'm just going to put in boxes and pack away put them where I'm never seeing them again. You know what I mean? We're uh we're at that point of the day. You guys know what the vibe is. You guys know what time it is. It's my time to shine, baby. Come on. 112 days in a row, I believe. 112 days in a row. Um that's absolutely insane. If you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you. I'm not going to ask you to like the video. I'm not going to ask you to comment. Obviously, if you support me, you would just do those things off the rip anyway. You, like I said, if you made it this far, dude, I appreciate it. You didn't have to waste your time watching me, but you chose to. And the way I look at it is the people that watch these vlogs consistently at such this low point where I'm just starting off. Like, you're like family to me. You know what I mean? If you support me like that. Because I know some of my, some, like, my closest friends are not watching these vlogs. And...
Like, that's fine. I would never get mad at them for not watching them. But, I don't know, the people that, the people that are here right now listening to me say this, you got a special spot in my heart, man, and you always will. But I'm hit the sack, boys and girls. You guys take it easy. 112 days in a row. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Peace.